Hey everyone, so this is my video going over my Acuity scheduling platform and just talking about how I use it within my own business. Um, so I could have done several platforms and compared them, but frankly, they should probably be their own video because you could spend a ton of time just looking at all of the different platforms and their features and um, what they what they do exactly in your business. So my suggestion is to really figure out like in your business what do you need this platform to do um what functions do you need are there other platforms that can maybe achieve the same thing and then you only need something very basic or are you trying to create like an all-in-one type of system um you know really figure out like what this does for your business because oftentimes what i find is that um business owners and entrepreneurs are like overly utilizing one platform and under utilizing another and they're paying for one when they could have just been using the free version and vice versa so really take a good look at like the platforms and systems and things you have in place before you really dive in um, now for me when i first became an online business owner acuity was what made the most sense um, and it still does um, it may change who knows especially after doing this blog post but um, and being able to dive into all the different ones, but I'm still very confident in what Acuity has because it has several things that they have built into their software platform itself that almost make it comparable to a CRM or to a way that you can manage your clients. Um, it also has a lot of additional features to allow your business to grow within the platform and not have to change and go back and forth between different schedulers. So I'm just going to show you around um, some different areas of Acuity and show you what exactly it's used for. Um, so all scheduling platforms have several of the same components. So the main reason why people like to get an online scheduler is because they do not want to deal with the back and forth email. They want their clients to be able to schedule, cancel, reschedule, pick their time slots, and then not have to be involved. Whole point of being an online entrepreneur, right? So that doesn't really change. What does change is the how those appointments are set up, the availabilities, maybe how it looks, how you're able to brand it, if the Acuity logo is there, um, what coloring you can use, if you can use custom fonts, if you can use a custom button, how it's embedded on your website, uh, what calendars are there, so many different possibilities under the same features. So for example, all of the ones that we were researching had calendar integration, which means that you can hook them up to your calendar. But each one had different calendars that they were able to integrate with. So all of them seemed to integrate with Google, but not all of them integrated in with Microsoft Exchange or Office 365. So that may be a, a barrier for you. That's where this comparison chart comes in. And if you don't have it, the copy down in the description. So I'm just going to go through some of these things and uh, exactly what they are. So I started in my business settings of Acuity and the availability. This was a huge thing for me because I knew that there were certain days that I did not want to take phone calls. There were certain time periods, like whenever my kids are home, I'm not doing meetings, at least not client meetings. So I wanted to be able to set them. Further, under their, their lowest pay plan, the emergency entrepreneur, I'm able to choose specific times for different appointments. So I can say that for my discovery calls, I could take them during anything, but for my client meetings, maybe I have some additional availability for my actual paid clients. Um, I talk about this a lot with photographers because oftentimes they're like, we do weddings on the weekends, so I don't want engagement sessions to be, able to be booked on my Saturdays because my Saturdays are for weddings. So you have the ability to have that flexibility and the customization built in to do that. Um, so that, that was one thing that I really liked about it. Um, there are some additional settings as well as far as appearance um, for your, your client and how they can look at things. You can do scheduling limits. So I have it set to where a client cannot do a new appointment or change the appointment within six hours. I've adjusted that here and there depending just from what I've learned about people. I used to have it at 24 hours and that just seemed like way too much. Um, but that's just a preference. Uh, it really just depends on you. 
and then you can choose how far out in advance you go. Um, and then just how it looks like what's hidden, how they cancel, if they cancel, you can adjust all of those types of settings under their um, basic entrepreneur plan. Um, now, that's the other thing. So we compared all of the, the lower level priced plans. However, I was on the free acuity plan forever. The only reason I changed is because they gave me a four, four months free for filling out a survey, and then I got hooked, which is probably part of why they do that. But realistically, $10 a month to know that I didn't have to hire someone to handle my calendar and to where it's automated and done and I had some upper level customizations was way worth it. So then you have appointment types. So these are just all the different ones. Each one of them has their own direct scheduling link as well as there's one um, scheduling link for all of them if you wanted them all to appear on one page. So again, just some customization, how it looks and how you can set these up. Um, you can set each one up to have different messaging, different durations. You can buffer just in case you need prep time before or just in case it goes over. You can set a price if you want them to pay for that appointment if you're like a consultant or you ask for a deposit going into a call. Um, you can make it a class or a group event. So there's just a lot of different um, functionality within how you do these. The other thing I used to do before I started using Dubsado is I had some initial intake questions so that I could make sure that they were the right client for me. I've also used this for my client meetings so that they have a chance to tell me about um, like what goals they met for the month or if there's a specific topic they'd like to discuss for our upcoming monthly meeting. So that can come in handy as well just to have something quick and easy to use and not have to worry about building a whole separate one somewhere else. A lot of clients that I've talked to that come to Acuity, their favorite part is this, this feature, the packages and gift certificates, as well as being able to create coupon codes and vouchers, um, especially when you're talking about like um, promos or holidays and special items. They really like the fact that they could come in here and customize this for their clients. So if that is something because you are in like the service or product-based industry, this might be the biggest reason why you use it. You can manage users. I think it's more for the upper level. I've never had to mess with users, but um, some of the other platforms honestly seemed like that was where the competitor was for Acuity, is that if you had a large team, you had several calendars, locations, booking types, like. Acuity may not have been the one for you, um, but it does offer some basic level like additional users if you do have an assistant or um, a business manager. Now, this is where I really think that Acuity got it right because most of the other competitors tell you on their website that the only way that they integrate with other things is if you use Zapier. Zapier is great for integrating other platforms, but it sort of seemed like that was their lazy way of saying, hey, we didn't do this integration, so go get Zapier so that you can connect these two platforms. Um, where with Acuity, they have actually went through and optimized a lot of the different frequently used types of platforms to work with their software. Um, for example, they have um, Zoom as well as some other online meeting schedulers that can integrate really nicely without having to use Zapier as the middleman. They do the same thing with accounting and invoicing. So if you're having a payment portal or they're paying for those appointments, it can go automatically into your QuickBooks or FreshBooks or Xero. Um, I know they're always adding to this as well. Same thing with email marketing. So this is huge. Again, with the other platforms, you would have to connect Zapier to send the contacts over to your email marketing system where with Acuity, it's going straight from Acuity into your email marketing. It completely cuts out the middle man. And it just seems so much more streamlined. On top of the fact that if you just look at this list, like it is a huge list of different ones that they've been working with, um, where the other platforms, I think Calendly, Calendly had a good chunk of um, integrations. A couple of them listed like one or two, but again, their, their file safe was go get Zapier. So it, again, it just goes back to what do you need for your business? 
are you taking payments? Are you needing integrations? Is email marketing a big thing for you or is it automated elsewhere? Um, and and how, how did you want to do that? So I just really think that that's one of the biggest parts. But sticking with other calendars. So as I mentioned before, you can sync it to your calendars. Now, this was the part about the free plan that I did not like is because on the free plan, it did not allow you to sync, which for me almost defeats the purpose of having an online scheduler. But if you get any of the lower level plans, they all seem to sync with your calendar. It's just a matter of do you use Google, do you have Microsoft, um, and, and which, where is your calendar being housed? The reason you want to sync them is because if you book, say, a dentist appointment on Tuesday, and normally that's an appointment time for you, it is now going to block out that time to where it does not even give your client the option to book that time slot, along with the buffer for travel and everything else that's in there. So one, and one thing that I will tell you is on your personal calendar, so like I have mine hooked to the Russell House, which is our household calendar. There are appointments on there that I have to make sure are done as um, show me as still being free. So if it's like a bill reminder or something, I'm not going to block out my entire day because I added a bill reminder. So make sure that when you're putting things in your personal calendar that you're putting them in as either free or busy. But the whole point here is that it then tells Acuity, do not allow a, a client to book here. So no double booking, no canceling appointments on your behalf. As long as you're putting everything in your personal calendar, it's going to automatically sync over here. Now, the client will not see that. So the client's not going to see, oh, well, she has an appointment on Tuesday at her dentist, so I can't schedule something. It's just simply not going to be an option for them. You can choose multiple calendars. Um, you can have several things linked in here. You can have it set reminders. Uh, and it, it's just a matter of how you want it to work. So before with the free option, it was only a one-way subscription. So Acuity would go into my Google Calendar, but my Google Calendar wouldn't come back out. Uh, so you can find work runs for that, but I find that the, the lowest level plan is, is the most I've ever needed. So payment settings. I personally don't accept payments with Acuity because I have Dosado to do that. But I do know some people, like I said, that um, they like to use this at – as a deposit for a consultation or their initial appointment or as a down payment sort of thing. So it just really depends on what you're using. They do have several as their main ones are Square and Stripe, but they do have several different payment portals within Acuity. And then just some basic email settings. So you can customize how your email reminders look to your clients, how they're reminded, when they're reminded, the cancellations, the rescheduling, um, and the whole client process. So one thing with me is I have Dubsado and I'm actually redoing it now to where Acuity handles my discovery process and they still are going to be inside of Dubsado through their lead capture form, but I would not have any automation as far as the emails until they become a paid client and I have sent them their proposal just because Acuity already handles those things and there was no point in muddying up my Dubsado. Um, now Dubsado is currently looking at doing um, online appointment scheduling and they've been building out that feature. So maybe I will be doing a video in the upcoming months about how that integration has changed my calendar. But for now, this is how I have it done. Now, when you go to client scheduling page, so this is how it looks to them. And I will just do a preview real quick. This is what it looks like for them. Now, with the links that they give you, you can either embed this right on your website so that you're still pulling the SEO, you're still pulling the traffic on your website, it's tagging all those things in your pixel, or you can have a direct link if you do not have a website. You can also take that link and put it on your social media to where people can contact you through Facebook or Instagram or wherever, um, or they just give you this fancy booking page. Like I said, you give them the link and it comes here. It's really easy to use, so they pick their, um, they would, let's see what we did. So here's that link I was talking about. If I just copy this link. So, See, very simple and straightforward. You can add more descriptive 
that's I just never would have gone to that point. So at the time zone, I would pick my date, pick my time, continue. It'll ask for my info, and then I would confirm the appointment. Uh, so it's just very straightforward, easy interface for your client. Now you can make it more difficult and customize things or put some more details about the appointment or what to include or what to bring with them. Um, you could add additional code if you know code and you can do that. Um, and then I'm not going to go into my appointments because I don't want my client information to show. But if I went into appointments, it would show all of my appointments my appointments, it would allow me to change them, edit them, send them a message, uh, resend them a Zoom link, and all of those things. So that is all the customization on the acuity end. Now, what I want to do is I wanted to explain real quick what happens when someone presses complete appointment. So first of all, I have a few things built into my personal business. I have my website that has my contact page. But then I also have Linktree, it's L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E, which I also use as a landing page to send people. I have this one link that I put into Instagram, and it's really easy for me having several links. So if somebody clicks chat with me, they are going to go to my Gustavo lead capture form. Now, when someone fills this out, the next step for them is to schedule a call. So they would get to the screen, they'd schedule the call, and then as soon as they press confirmation, I have mine set up to create a unique link within Zoom for that client for that meeting, because all of my appointments, my phone call meetings, my video meetings are handled through Zoom, which is a free platform. You can choose to pay if you need bigger features, but it is a free platform. Um, and then from there, I have it set up to send them a instant like thank you for booking here's some information on zoom and how you get to your call i have a thank you email sent from the sato with more information on me and my services and things that they can check out uh, it also sends a reminder 24 hours before the appointment as well as one hour before the appointment and just reiterates those links anything i need them to have prepared for those meetings etc um, it also has the option that if i wanted to send follow-up emails after the meeting you can also set up follow-up emails afterwards as well. So that personally is how I have mine done. Now, I used to have one set up through the Vsado where it was embedded on my Vsado form. And I really liked that. And it does work for several clients that I have helped build their Vsado, but it doesn't work for everyone. And it really depends on your client and your audience. So it just is a matter of how you want to make all those pieces work together. So I think that is it, and it shows you everything in the capabilities of Acuity, specifically, as well as just online schedulers. Don't forget to grab your free comparison chart that we made about the top five online schedulers, and I hope to see you back here really soon for my next video.